Chair now recognizes Mr. Goldman from New York. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Dodaro, I'm going to focus a little bit on security clearances uh, today. Um, the government-wide personnel security clearance process was added to the high-risk list five years ago. Is that right? Uh, that's correct. All right. I see you have a colleague join you. Happy for, uh, for her to answer any of these questions. Um, that year, the federal government announced the Trusted Workforce 2.0, which was an ambitious personnel vetting reform plan that intended to streamline and expedite the three personnel vetting processes under a single policy framework, focusing on suitability uh, as well as fitness um, and a, a couple of other issues that I'll, I'll get to. In the most recent high-risk report, um, the GAO says that considerable progress has been made in implementing this reform, but there is no rating uh, for this area since the, the last report. It also identifies several problems, um, including examples of partially met initiatives relating to capacity, which is a schedule to manage uh, oversight of security clearances, an action plan, monitoring, and demonstrated progress that um, the, the changes have not fully been implemented um, since the GAO recommended them five years ago. And this is of particular importance in recent months, as, as you no doubt know. Um, between a January and April of this year, dozens of classified U.S. intelligence documents surfaced on public websites, and it was determined that a leaker, uh, who was a 21-year-old IT employee of the National Guard, of the Air National Guard, who had the highest level of security clearance, was ultimately charged uh, criminally with unauthorized retention and transmission of national defense information and removal of classified documents. Now, this individual, Jack Teixeira, uh, regularly posted racist and anti-government content online on the gaming app Discord, um, on a group called Thug Shaker Central, uh, and he was openly anti-federal government and criticized U.S. support for Ukraine. Now, this episode reveals severe blind spots in our security pro clearance process, especially as it relates to white nationalism and anti-government ideology. And, uh, Mr. Dodaro, what, what actions has the GA GAO taken or plans to take to address this gap in vetting white nationalist and anti-government sentiments in the security clearance process? Yeah. I'm going to ask Ms. Barry, who's our expert in the area, to respond. Yeah, thank you for the question. Um, there's a number of areas that we're reviewing with respect both to the security clearance process and also the insider threat program that exists within the department. Related to the security clearance process itself, we're looking at continuous vetting for individuals that have received a clearance. Right now, the executive branch does not have a way to assess performance of how that's working. Um, we're also looking at the capacity of the department to develop a new management information system to track clearances um, and be able to grant reciprocity. Um, we're also looking at controls related to uh, protecting national security systems. Um, with respect to the insider threat program, we've looked at DOD's programs and have found that in some cases they were not meeting uh, minimum federal standards uh, to protect national security systems. So we made a number of recommendations okay. for them to strengthen that. Good. Given right. the recent incident, we're going to be doing a follow-on review looking at their insider threat program. All right. I'm happy to hear that. I, I think all or nearly all of my colleagues would emphasize and agree that this is a serious national security issue. But I am concerned that at least one colleague of mine uh, has, does not seem to recognize that this is a concern. Here is a tweet from a member of this committee which says that Jack Teixeira is white, male, Christian, and anti-war. That makes him an enemy to the Biden regime. He told the tru truth about troops being on the ground Ask yourself who is the real enemy, a young low-level National Guardsman or the administration that is waging war in Ukraine. Mr. Dodaro, 
without putting you on the spot, who is the real enemy to our national security, President Biden or Jack Teixeira, who disclosed top secret and unauthorized information? Uh, anyone who violates their oath to protect the Constitution would be fall into that category. Thank you, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Their ch the chair now recognizes